Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to another episode of Jet Finds. In this episode, we're gonna be geocaching. I haven't done it in forever. I'm super duper excited. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as that majorly helps out my channel. So let's sit back, relax, let's find. Okay guys, the first one is called Hobbs and we're 43 feet away and the hint is ho, ho, ho. So I'm guessing that we're gonna be looking somewhere in this pine tree right here. So I'm gonna kinda go ahead and take a big boy look at this and see if we can find anything hiding out in here. I think the cache is small, so it'll be a little harder to find, but typically these ones are like tied to right here or they're somewhere around there. So I'm gonna look around a little bit and I'll throw you guys on if I get it on to anything. Well now guys, I'm starting to think, what if it's underneath the tree? Like a Christmas present. So now I'm gonna kinda walk around and look underneath the bottom of the tree because it might be underneath here somewhere. So I might even go in there and check it out. I'm having a really hard time trying to find where this one is. I don't know if it's in the branch. It's a small cache, so it's gonna be a little harder to find. I'm gonna keep on looking for a few more minutes and if I can't find it, we're just gonna keep on moving on. I doubt that's it. Oh. Oh. Are you it? No, you're just a regular old pine tree part dog on it okay guys i seriously searched this tree probably i circled it about 10 or 15 times and i really haven't found anything so we're gonna have to be unfortunate and put a big fat did not find down but that's not gonna stop us let's go to our next one now okay guys so the next one we're going to is a house and it's about a 13 minute drive so we're gonna throw you guys back on in a second i just wanted to show you guys the frog real quick and this fallen down Christmas tree. So pretty much what happened was I was going to the house and I don't know if you can see that little triangle right there, but the road is closed. So I had to park in this parking lot and now I'm gonna walk all the way up there. Some waterworks going on over here. But we're gonna keep on trucking along. We're almost there. Okay guys, so it said the cache was not the house on the corner. That was the one next to it. So they're about 84 feet away. So I'm guessing it's gonna be this house right here. Sweet. Guys, this is so weird, like just being on this person's property, looking for whatever the heck I'm looking for. But it says we're about 37 feet away. Um, I'm gonna keep on looking for a little bit. Okay, so she said, she actually came out and said it's in a smaller house in the front yard. So maybe like a bird tree. I'm gonna keep on looking for a little bit. Hey guys, I thought for sure it would be inside of there or something, but um, yeah, I don't see it anywhere. I feel so weird being in this person's front yard. Is that in there? I feel like it's in there somewhere. Are you on the other side? Let's see. No, I don't see it. <sighs> Dang, I think it's in there though. Okay guys, so that was probably the most uncomfortable I've ever been while doing a geocache. I just had no idea where the heck it was and the lady came out and tried giving me a hint but I still felt like unreasonably uncomfortable just walking around her front yard so I did not find that one. We're actually two for two down in the pooper, did not find, but that's just okay. I'm having a blast doing this anyways. Let's make this next one something we find. Woo! Crossing the road, crossing the road! Ah! Okay guys, for this next one we're going to be looking in this field for a small cache. I guess it's in the rubble or something, I'm not exactly sure they want to use specifics so we're just going to kind of dive right in and hope we find it. Okay, so it said it would be by some rubble, there's like a cement piece here. Oh yeah, that's actual like, like look at it, it's like, but um, ah, woohoo! Oh my goodness, guys. I have never been so happy to find a cache in my life. Look at that boy. We found one. Woohoo! All right, let's get her opened up and check her out. Oh, wow, there are all sorts of goodies in here. Let's check it out. Let's see what we've got. That we've got like a little... That's a little map of where I'm at. There's like Union City and stuff. It's hard to see. You guys can't really see it. 
Signs of a serious geocaching addiction. <laughs> That's awesome. There's all sorts of funny little jokes. That is awesome. Geocaching since October 4th, 2002. That's crazy. Let's see what's in here. There's the log I get to sign. Sweet. Pop Pop 55K. I'm assuming that that's someone's geocaching name. Maybe that's how many caches they found too. That'd be pretty cool. And what else we got in here? Look at that! <laughs> it's a little star guy. You put that right in your cake and just That's kind of cool. We got some crayons. What is this guy right here? Who crossed my path? Log this tag. Pathtags.com. I'll take a picture of that and I'll log it. Oh, look at that, guys. Not all who are wander are lost. That's super cool. And then there's just some crayons in here. I'm not going to take anything for this cache. I just wanted to find this one. But I will log it up. And then I got to go to work. And then we'll finish this video tomorrow. That was a pretty cool find though, guys. Let's see here. Thank you for being an easy cash. Bye. Where's my hat? My hat! Woo! -hoo, guys, we found a cash. And hopefully we find many, many more tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe. What is up guys? It is the next day. I am super duper excited to continue doing this geocaching. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get myself some coffee real quick to warm myself up because it is 29 degrees outside and then we are going to get right back to it to do some geocaching. Welcome to Mars, what can I get for you today? Hi, may I please have a large hot coffee, three and three? A large three and three, anything else? And then may I please have uh, ten chocolate Timbits? Oh, I love Tim Horton so much. Tim, Mr. Tim, Mr. Horton, if you're watching this, I'll die for you. That's how much I love Tim Hortons. so much. I have a good one. I love you Tim Hortons. I love you so much. Mm, that is so good. But yeah, we are at our uh, next geocache. I'm pretty sure it's that light pole right there because there's nothing else around the area. But I'm gonna eat my Timbits real quick and then we're gonna find it out. Real quick while I'm on my break. Comment down below what your favorite Timbit is. And then how do you guys like your coffee? Also real quick, I got an early Christmas present from my mom and sister. And they're little guys, little Pokemon characters to put in the geocache. So here's like Poliwhirl. And um, I got Motrace there. So if I have any doubles, I'm gonna use these as geocaches today. So let's get it. I pointed out the wrong one when I was showing off my card, but I'm assuming it's this one right here. It's actually broken right there. So let me check it out real quick and see. <laughs> right there, baby. Okay, let me grab it real quick. And this one's just a log. There's nothing crazy in it. But I am going to put my little Motory Sky in there. I'm going to go ahead and sign this up and it'll be good to go. I swear I'm not smoking. All right, look at the little log here. I'm going to go ahead and write it up. All right, guys, so here is the list of all the people that have found it so far. Not a lot of people so far, but I'm going to go ahead. I think I have my pen. Oh, my goodness. Nope, my pen's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, write Jed Pines down and we'll be good to go. Right, I'm putting Motrace in here. I signed the log. I dated it. Now I just got to put it back this small little container right here and we'll be good. It looks like something made a little nest underneath here too. That's pretty cool. But I'm trying to do this one handed here. Ah! <laughs> oh no. All right. There we go. No one ever knew a thing. Okay guys, we are at Shell Gas Station and this one is called Shell Out Some Cash and I'm pretty sure it's right over here. Well, you can't see it, so I'll show you. 
pretty sure it's right over here. It said in deep snow it would be a hard time getting to. You can't stop me, snow. Ah! Well, I'm guessing we got another light post one. So let's check it out. Oh, I brought a... Uh, I think this is Nine Tails from Pokemon. So hopefully he's hiding in there somewhere. There's no geocache. Huh. Is this container right here? Are you a maple turkey flavored cookie? No. I've been bamboozled. Huh. Okay, guys, I thought it was going to be right in here, but I'm going to have to look around a little bit. Ah, oh, sweet. I love when these geocaches take you actually inside of the woods because I absolutely love being in here, guys. Look how beautiful this spot is. All right, now I'm going to start looking around for it. So, guys, pretty much what I'm getting from the comments on here is that um, it may have washed away because of the rain or something. We're looking for a Tupperware container, I guess. We're going to keep on looking for a little bit, but I don't want to spend too much time here if other people are having similar problems. I'm just, to be honest with you, just enjoying being out here. Well, guys, we weren't able to find that cache. A whole bunch of people said they weren't able to find it. That's just okay. But I did find this beautiful creek here that I might actually have to walk one of these days and do a YouTube video on. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know, because I'd be really interested in seeing if I could find anything here. Okay, guys, this one's called Country Road. What's up? Oh, no, I'm geocaching. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. But no, uh, yeah, this one's called Country Road, and it's somewhere right around here, so let's keep looking. But I'm guessing that it's going to be a guardrail find, so it's probably somewhere underneath or inside, which it is right there. Woohoo! Ah, oh, oh, come on. Ah! Look at that one, guys. That's awesome. Let me take a picture of that bad boy. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, I'm sorry for how loud it is. I'm right by a really busy road, but right here we've got... It's actually a cop that just drove by. But um, right here we've got the log. And then we've got the container. And I think I'm gonna put nine tails in there. So I'm gonna sign it and we're gonna be good to go. Okay, guys, I'm putting her back in. And no one left anything, but I am going to put something in there. I'm going to put my little nine tails friend in there. And then I'm going to put that in there. That cop drove around twice. He's a state trooper. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm up to no good. But, ah, I dropped her. Ah! But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to set her right in there. We're going to be good to go. Woohoo, guys, I logged it up. I think I'm up to like 57 geocaches. That's absolutely crazy. We're gonna go ahead for a little drive, find some more. Okay, guys, we are at our next spot and it's called uh, Luke Skywalker. So I'm assuming I have to go inside of there and go all the way up. And I think it's somewhere in that sky tunnel. So hopefully we're able to get in. I know I can get in that way. I'm wondering if I can get in this way. So let's find out. Let's see. I guess it opened this one. All right, uh, where do we want to go? Um, I might assume four. Let's hope. Oh, can I make it? Look at that. Guys, just look at that view. That is so beautiful. And then if you look over here, I've done a lot of magnet fishing all over there. All right, let's find this geocache. Man, I've got like five minutes before I have to go to work. And um, it led me kind of over here, but the GPS coordinates are really wonky. Uh, I think it's because it's over the water. But um, man, I really wanted to find this one. But I've got like no time. Are you like stop it there? Man, this stinks if I'm not going to be able to find this one. Dang. So it says use the force for the hint. And um, I feel like it has something to do with this. Because it's not locked. But I mean, like, is it behind the garbage can? 
I've got no clue. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna have to, my next geocaching episode, I'm gonna have to start it back off here because I've got to go to work. I've got no idea where the heck this thing could be. I think next time I go geocaching, I'm gonna have to bring someone else with me too. Yeah, guys, before I go, I just wanna show how beautiful this spot is one more time. Look at that. And look at my car, right above my finger. Well guys, I am going to unfortunately have to leave. I've only spent like 10, 15 minutes here looking, but I have to be to work pretty soon and I don't wanna be late. So I'm just gonna leave off my next geocaching episode right here and maybe bring someone else with me because we really, really had to find this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next week's adventure. Ooh.